Happy Leap Day, my Purple Banditos, and welcome back to some more Let's Play Pokemon Glaze. I'm Purple Rodri. Last time, we added Lanky the Chimchar to our team. We also met up with Professor Willow, who told us we needed to head into Milkshake Swamp. So that's what we're going to be doing today. We are here in Milkshake Swamp. All right, guys, let's go ahead and explore around this place. Hopefully, we'll be able to make our way through here. Lanky was poisoned by the Ivy. Okay. Okay, what is that? What is that? All right, I'm gonna have to head back to the Pokemon Center because that's the Ivy that you guys mentioned. Once again, thank you guys for all your tips. They're really awesome, and it just makes me so happy that so many of you guys have played through Pokemon Glazed as well. I received a lot of tips and comments from you guys, and I really, really want to thank you for them. I feel like I've learned already so much about the game from you guys that, you know, I'm excited to see what else it's gonna bring. I know it's gonna be a very long adventure. I know you guys have told me there's three different regions so there's gonna be quite a bit for us to do i'm excited though we'll have to build a really good team if we have to take on three regions so it's gonna take quite a bit of effort to actually you know pull one together that's gonna be able to make it all the way through the adventure all right guys now that we're back here at milkshake swamp let's keep on going though and let's keep exploring also make sure you guys give this video a like it's much appreciated and it really helps the series we're gonna have our first battle here and it looks like we're going to be going up again Against a bug type. I guess that's pretty easy for Lanky. I'm not too worried about it. As I said, though, happy leap day. I know it's kind of weird that we're having a leap year. I mean, like, 366 just does not sound as good as 365 or maybe that's just what we're used to you know i was reading a lot of stuff on it and just you know i like reading little things here and there just getting little dumb facts that i hear about and i don't know if you guys have seen the movie leap day or leap year whatever it was called it was like this rom-com right and i remember watching that movie and it tells you about like this irish like myth or lore or something where you know if a woman proposes to a man the the man has to say yes or it's like bad luck or something so i'm just sitting here like you know good luck to all you guys out there that are you know gonna be getting proposed to by irish women today you know best luck to you guys i'm guessing there's gonna be a lot of people engaged after today let's keep on going though and what kind of pokemon are we up against oh really okay so it's a shroomish that's okay i'm not too worried about a shroomish I also am going to be battling as many Pokemon as I can because from what you guys told me this adventure is gonna get really hard and it's probably for the best that I don't skip trainer battles as I'm usually used to so I'm probably gonna be battling as much as possible also I've thought about you know adding more Pokemon than the six and then just going from that I've used more Pokemon in other adventures and it was honestly a lot of fun I think it can build a really diverse team so I believe that's what I'm gonna do for now we're just gonna catch a bunch of Pokemon and then you know we'll train them we'll evolve them and we'll probably mix and match them and bring them in when needed i think that's a lot more fun when we build a much bigger team so that's what i'm hoping for is this really a doubles battle down there oh, and there's more poison ivy yeah oh 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 heck no nah. heck no nah. i'm not going down there uh, well you know what we don't have another partner with us yet so i'm just gonna go ahead and take these guys on individually so as i was telling you guys you know i'm here in el salvador and yesterday, I actually had the chance to go to the beach with my family. And if you guys have ever seen, you know, on my Instagram, the pictures I post of El Salvador, it's a very you know foresty looking place there's a lot of trees everywhere and it's just there's a lot of you know just green everywhere there's a lot of beautiful areas and it's just really nice to see and yesterday when we were driving to the beach I can't even begin to tell you you know sometimes how in awe I can get just how beautiful nature is you know I remember we were just driving to the beach and I was sitting here just like you know just gasping at the horizon and I was like wow this is so gorgeous like it's so beautiful like look at all these trees look at all this stuff it looks awesome and then that's not even counting once you get to the beach and you get there and you feel the breeze on your face I gotta tell you guys it was a really really great day it was a lot of fun I mean going to the beach with your family it's pretty great you know going in there swimming around it's always a good time let's see what this is what, what this guy guys got coming up this guy's got a crow gunk okay let's go ahead and take down this crow gunk then level six oh we're already level nine so we began to level up quite well let's see if we can take down this guy though the crow gun this should be super effective let's see if we can take oh no not super effective i meant it should do a lot of damage and he's super effective to us all right let, let's see what this guy's got though man he's really trying to pack a punch here i like the way crow gunks look though i think they're really cool pokemon i feel like 
they're a little bit underrated. I think even in the anime, they made Krogunk into, like, you know, this funny, like, jokey character, even though he's actually, like, pretty freaking strong. I think it was the Krogunk, once Misty left, that would end up, like, jabbing, like, Brock or something whenever Brock was starting to talk to, like, ladies. Pretty funny, actually. I think the Krogunk is hilarious. All right, let, let's knock this guy out, though. You know what really does hurt us here in this forest, though, is the fact that it's raining. I know that you guys have given me a couple tips on what's coming up here, and I gotta tell you guys, I'm a little bit nervous for some of the battles that are coming up, one specifically, but I'll get to that once we actually make it there. Now, if I could just land, like, one more hit on this Krogunk, there we have it, guys. So with that, the Krogunk is going to go down. Easy does it. Let's continue moving on. You know, as I explore these areas, I don't know why. Every time I play through Pokemon and I see areas such as Milkshake Swamp or Viridian Forest, for example, it just really brings me back to the days. You know, there were, it was probably a couple days ago, a day after I got here to El Salvador, that, you know, me and my cousin were just hanging around. My cousin Jerry, because, you know, he's in town visiting from Germany. Really cool guy. He's just, you know, hanging out here, having a great time. And what? Wait, a Krogunk just appeared. And you know what, guys? It's Leap Day after all, right? This is a female Krogunk on Leap Day. I think this is a sign. I'm going to go for it, and we're going to go ahead and catch this Pokemon. It feels like this Krogunk is almost proposing to us to be added to the team. So you know what? I got to say yes. You know, I got to say yes for, for some good luck on our adventure, and maybe some crits on our side, and maybe no crits on the enemy. That's what I can hope for. So let's, let's go ahead and catch this Krogunk. I need a little bit of luck on this Leap Day. So let's see what this is all about. It's kind of funny that we bumped into a Krogunk, which is like a frog on Leap Day. I'll, I'll go ahead and go with that. It, it's a female Krogunk. This, this makes sense. It's like a sign to me. I'm going to go ahead and throw out the Pokeball, though. And it would be really, really nice if we could catch this Pokemon right now. I'd be really, really happy with that. And there we have it, guys. So very cool. Gotcha. Krogunk was caught. Ooh, so I'm excited for this. Krogunk is actually a really, really strong Pokemon. Poison fighting. Krogunk is the toxic mouth Pokemon. It rarely fights fairly, but that is strictly to ensure survival. It is popular as a mascot. Very cool. Now, we actually have to give it a nickname. What to call it? What to call it? I'm actually not too sure. Well, guys, I think I finally thought of a nickname for the Krogunk, and I, th I think this fits quite well. So we're going to go ahead and call it Cheeky. So with that, Cheeky has been added to our team. Cheeky the Cheeky Krogunk. Look at that smile on the Krogunk. That's a million-dollar smile. That, that Cheeky's so happy. Cheeky's got the biggest smile. We have to go after that, you know? Well, it looks like it's a poison fighting, slight HP recovery and rain, lax nature. That's not too bad. It's actually a pretty decent Pokemon, and I think it's going to be a really great addition. You know, as I said, we're just just gonna catch a bunch of Pokemon and we're just gonna keep on going into this adventure and we're gonna see what kind of crazy team we can build since it is three regions you know three regions more room for Pokemon all right let's keep on going though we're gonna have another battle so as I was saying my cousin Jerry's here in El Salvador as well you know part of the reason why I came here to visit him because we don't get to see each other very often and then the other day we actually went to a park and it was the park from our childhood. So, like, we always went there. We played with all my cousins. You know, all our cousins went there. We played, you know, basketball, hide-and-go-seek, tag, a bunch of different games there. And, you know, we've been doing that since we were young. I feel like, you know, that little park has always been there. It's always something that, you know, kind of triggers nostalgia whenever I think about it because it's such a good memory. And then me and my cousin went back there because we wanted to check it out, and there was nobody in the park. And I was like, where is everybody at? Like, when we were kids, there were so many people out there, like, playing in the park. And I don't know, maybe it was just an off afternoon. Who knows? But I was like, whoa, it's kind of strange that nobody's at the park. So we started, like, walking around deeper and deeper into the park. It's just a very long park. Like, lengthwise, it just, like, goes all the way across. So uh, we were just walking down it. We got to see, like, some slides that we used to slide down as a kid. We saw a bunch of stuff, and it was really cool. You know, I think it brought back a lot of good memories, and it just made me so thankful, you know, where I am today and how far I've come. I still remember being, you know, that crazy kid in El Salvador, like, you know, playing hide-go-seek and tag, and it's pretty crazy, like, how much you can actually grow as a person. So it's always nice to go back to a place like that, you know, an area like that where you can just think about life, you know, and think about how much you've grown and it's it's pretty crazy honestly and it was really cool i actually put a picture on instagram too it was a video i guess you could say it was like i showed you guys a little bit of the view because you can see a volcano in the back 
background. It's beautiful. You know, it's a really nice view. So you guys can check that out on Instagram if you want. It's uh, link is in the description. So just check my Instagram out. So with that, let's keep on going though, and let's see if we can actually do something here. I want us to get to. Well, I guess we have been having a lot of battles today, so there is a lot for us to do. Let's go ahead and take down this Togepi then. You know what? This is like a little baby team, too. All the Pokemon we went up against were like little babies. I kind of feel bad. I got to, you know, taking down these guys. I don't even know. Let's go ahead and take down the Togepi. With that, though, guys, we are good to go. And let's continue moving on now. We gained a bunch of XP. And let's keep on going then. Let's let's see what else we can find here. I Hopefully, you know, we're getting close to where we need to be. Wait. I think this is it. And that was the entrance. We probably could have just ran here if we ran through the Poison Ivy. Oh, Rodri, you came at just the right time as I suspected. Another grunt snuck back while her backs were turned. Look up there, by that tablet. He seems very suspicious. He must be up to no good. Do you want to see a member of the Elite Four in action, Rodri? Come with me then. Inventor, it's best you stay here where it's safe. I like how he's just gonna go beat up this guy. All right, man, you do you. Get in there, Blake. All right, dude, what are you gonna do? You gonna punch him? You gonna you gonna throw him out? What are you gonna do, man? What are you gonna do? What do you got? No nothing? Really? I, I thought Blake was coming in here to show us, like, how an Elite Four fights. I thought this dude was going to throw some punches here and start beating up some of these Team Fusion grunts, but I guess not. This tablet... Are you two all right? You scared off that grunt good and proper, it seems. Wow, amazing. Uh, I'm done here for now. It's getting nasty. You know, Professor Inventor, some of us like it nasty. Some of us like it nasty in the rain. Oh, with that, we obtained the Pokecom. What is the Pokecom? Is this just going to be like a nav gear? That Pokecom is a device of my own invention. It translates Pokemon speech into human speech and vice versa. Hopefully, it will help on your journey. Text translated with the Pokecom will be displayed with this color text. Oh, cool. So, we can actually talk to Pokemon in this adventure. And that makes a whole lot more sense about the Red Scarf Pikachu. Also, I like how you guys told me that I can't catch the Red Scarf Pikachu till much later in the game. You guys also told me that if I catch it... It could possibly break the Pokemon glazed world. But what happened? I guess we're in that universe again? Ow, I thought I heard a commotion. Do you remember me? My name is Luke. I was the one who brought you back to your room last time. As I predicted, oh, so this is the guy from last time at the beginning of this adventure who took us back home, who somehow knew our address, who somehow got... I, I don't even know how this guy did it, man. I couldn't tell you guys. But it looks like we are going to be looking... For a mudkip that is wandering around here now you guys have warned me a lot about this mudkip i gotta tell you that apparently you know starting with a fire type in a place where it's raining and we're gonna have to find this mudkip is just probably not the best idea but regardless Sometimes you just got to go with it. Let's go ahead and chase down this little Mudkip, though. That's so cool. I love seeing Pokemon, like, you know, in the games. Like, I love actually seeing them. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Where are you going, dude? Mudkip disappeared. What the heck? Where did he go? How am I supposed to get under the mud? How am I supposed to find a Pokemon that can live underwater in this place? All right, we found ourselves a Max Ether, though. Let's keep looking around for this little guy, though. Where the heck did the Mudkip go? I thought he would be over there to the right, but I guess he's not. All right, little Mudkip. Ooh, look at that, guys. It looks like a shark. The Mudkip attacked. So here we go, guys. Rodri versus Mudkip. And let's go ahead and take it on. It's a level 10 Mudkip. And I got to tell you guys, I'm a little bit nervous. All right, guys, here we go. Let's go ahead and take on this Mudkip. I know that this guy could probably two-shot us if he goes for the water gun. So let's hope for a miracle here. I'm expecting to die a few times, so let's hope for the best. What I am going to go after here, we are going to see how this goes. I'm trying to catch this guy, so let's hope that we can catch him. I think he would be a really great addition. I know that a lot of you guys have told me that you want me to catch Mudkip, so I'm going to go for it. Mudkips are really cool Pokemon, too. I mean... I like Mudkips. I don't know about you guys, but I personally like them. You know what? If uh, if Leonardo DiCaprio can win himself an Oscar last night, we can catch this Mudkip. I believe. I believe. Let's go ahead and do this. We're actually looking quite good. I'm kind of surprised the Mudkip hasn't used Water Gun yet. Because if he used Water Gun right now, without a doubt, this guy could like two-shot me. Like He would just like do insane damage and just knock me out. All right, let's go back to it then. It's going to go for the Mud Slap. That's not too bad. I'm going to go for the Pokeball. 
and let's hope that we can catch it, guys. Let's hope for the best. I know that this little guy is going to be a little bit tougher to catch. So, you know what? We're going to hope for a Pokeball. We're going to hope one of these is going to land. So, here we have it. Let's go ahead and throw the Pokeball then. And come on, little guy. Mudkip, I know you want to stay with us. Oh, my. Oh, nope, nope. I, I guess this guy doesn't. I guess he does it. He's just going to go ahead and keep growling at us. And we are just going to keep going at it with the Pokeballs. You know, Mudkip, I'd say we treat our team pretty good. I'd say, you know, we'd probably turn you into a really strong Pokemon. Who knows what could happen? If we could turn you into a really strong, you know, super evolved Pokemon, that would be great. Oh, yeah. Another thing that I learned from you guys is that there are mega evolutions in this game. So how cool is that? I'm super excited for that. If we could catch his Mudkip... You know, maybe there's a mega evolution of the Mudkip in this game. Who knows? Let's go ahead and do it, though. Come on, little Mudkip. There we have it, guys. So with that, gotcha. Mudkip was caught a little bit, you know, simpler than I thought. I'm kind of surprised he didn't use Water Gun on me. But, hey, we must have locked out. So Mudkip is the Mudfish Pokemon on land. It can powerfully lift large boulders by planting its four feet and heaving. It sleeps by burying itself in soil at the water's edge. So did we just, like, wake it up? Was it just sleeping? With that, though, we're going to go ahead and give it a nickname. And I actually have thought of a nickname nickname for the Mudkip because I think it's a little bit funny of a nickname so let's go ahead and call this Pokemon Gilligan so with that guys Gilligan has been added to our team and take a guess where it comes from you know Gilligan's Island it's an old show you know Gilligan was the skipper Mudkip it makes sense I think it's kind of funny it ups water moves it's pretty strong this thing's gonna be a beast and I think it'll definitely help us out as we get going so with that guys we have added Cheeky and Gilligan to our team I think that's a pretty solid start now we definitely have a pretty good variety so you know what we can only keep on building from here I'm sorry but there's no time to explain get to the portal all right guys let's go ahead and get to the portal then and with that it looks like we have arrived Back at Milkshake Swamp. So, I believe we're done here in Milkshake Swamp. I don't think there's anything. Yep. Nope. Nope. He heck nah. Heck nah. I am not going through that Poison Ivy. Heck nah. I don't know what this game is thinking putting Poison Ivy everywhere. But I'm not about to get that on me. Especially not around our Pokemon. Alright, guys. So, with that, it looks like we're done here with Milkshake Swamp. Now, I wonder if we had anything else to do with the Inventor. I believe that was probably it with the Inventor, but we can go ahead and look around. He's not even here, so who knows where the Inventor is. He probably ran off. He's probably sitting there cooking himself some lunch. Who knows what the Inventor is doing? Well, next time, guys, we will continue from here and make our way towards the next town. So if you guys have any tips, let me know. Leave me some comments. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next episode. Goodbye.